Another lifelong watchtower lackey, Frederick Franz, led the writing department. And in 1967, he brushed off one of Russell's, but not Rutherford's, primary doctrines, added 101 years to the calendar, and claimed that it was 1975, not 1874 or 1843, that marked 6,000 years since Adam's creation. Folks, 1975 was a reboot. Mr. Philip Rees, the assistant to the presiding minister at Watchtower House in Mill Hill, London, met me on Thursday. I challenged him that the threat of a year of doom, 1975, seemed to be a fairly wild and irresponsible surmise. Oh, well, I don't accept your term, the year of doom, 1975, uh, but we don't um, put it as a threat. We firmly believe that uh, in the near future this system of things is going to perish because the Bible plainly says that all the way through it. But uh, we want people to uh, appreciate that it is the prelude to the kingdom of God. You see, you, you sweep away the old before the incoming of the new. Well, if the end does come in 75, will we all be dead? Yes, uh, Armageddon, when it comes, is going to mean a sweeping away of this system. And the system of things, of course, is built up of individuals. That's why we do not tire of telling the people, you must now come out of this system of things, come out of Babylon the Great and take your stand for God's kingdom because that alone is going to survive. What will happen to the rest of the people? The rest of the people will perish. How? By, um, the, um, by the forces of uh, God, uh, just how, I don't know. Uh, I don't know exactly how. It will have to be selective because the Bible says that the sheep-like ones are going to be preserved and the goat-like ones, those who resist the kingdom of God and the, the instruction of Jehovah God, will perish. So it must be selective, whatever it is. There may be violent uh, movements of the earth. Uh, there could be uh, atomic energy or something like that coming down from heaven. I remember an outstanding talk. I'd heard Brother Fred Franz the summer before at the... Yankee Stadium convention, but we were a little closer there in the assembly hall. And I'll tell you what, I was just glued to him. It's not a period of a thousand years that begins at some indefinite time in the future, but it has a definite date for it to begin. We can calculate from the date of the beginning of the millennial reign of the Lord Jesus Christ and know when it is going to end. If we'll go to this red book here, Everlasting Life in uh, Freedom of the Sons of God, and we turn to pages 31 through 35, we find there a chart which is headed, Chart of uh, Significant Events in, uh, uh, from the creation of man to the year 7,000 Anno Mundi. 7,000 from the creation of man. And the first item on the list is dated 4,026 before our common era. And the item is the creation of Adam in the early autumn of that year. Not a January the 1st of that year, 4,026, but in the early autumn of that year, so that we measure the years from autumn to autumn. And then if we turn to uh, uh, page 35, we are startled to see the year 1975, where we actually are. And what does it say with regard to 1975? It says the end, now notice this, the end of the sixth 1,000-year day of man's existence in early autumn. And I've told folks now, if you don't pay attention and stay with them, you're going to get lost. He's going to lose you. But if you paid attention, uh, it was thrilling just to hear him pour out his heart because it was all written on his figurative heart. 
And then it carries us beyond that, beyond this year. The next date is 2075, a thousand years from now. And what does it say regarding that? The end of the seven thousand year day of human existence in the early autumn. Now that's all it says about 1975. And that's all we can say for anybody else out there in the world who wants to know what uh, we have published regarding uh, this critical year. We know it's a critical year. We know we're near something. But we're not saying. <laughs> we are well along in this year, 1975. Well, then, after September the 5th, things could happen, and it looks very likely that they're going to happen. And we should not uh, jump to uh, wrong uh, decisions on that account, and say, well, the time after September the 5th, 1975, is indefinitely long, and so it allow for me uh, to realize my uh, human aspirations. Getting married and raising a family of kids. Or uh, uh, going to college for a few years. No, the time does not allow for that, dear friends. The time is short, as the Apostle Paul says in 1 Corinthians uh, chapter uh, 7 and verse 29. The time left is reduced. And he said that 1,900 years ago, and it's 1,900 years reduced by now, this year 1,975. And evidently, there's not much time left. 